Welcome back to my channel, Beauty and the Boondocks, and today we're touring the haunted church called Joppa in Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. It's an old church established in 1862 yeah. at the Mammoth Cave National Park, and today we're going to look inside the building and tour the cemetery. I brought my family there, my mother and my two boys, and we're inside the church here. And Mom and Eldon are looking around, and they're headed toward the pulpit, and there's a little surprise there, as you'll see. And just a little background on the history of the church. Um, it's supposed to be haunted by demons. Supposedly, um, if you put money on the preacher's stand, it will float in the air or shoot across the room. So somebody had put money up there that had visited and I told Eldon to leave it alone. So there's the money where people were trying to see if that would happen. But supposedly during the daytime, there's not really a lot going on there. And as of 2015, because of all the, um, all the different people coming in at nighttime, vandalizing the property. They don't allow anybody there after dark. Used to, people would hold revivals there. Some churches would. But now they're only able to have services during the day. Because this is actually owned by the government. Uh, the Mammoth Cave National Park was established, I think, in the 1930s. And this was one of the um, parts of the um, Mammoth Cave taken over the National Forest um, National Park through eminent domain. Magic and church. we found a wadded up piece of paper. It was a flyer where people had been doing a uh, tour there. And they just wadded it up and threw it down. Really, I wouldn't want Ellen touching that, but he's showing us some kind of little tour that was, I guess, from online or something. Some group of people went there. So, that was very interesting. There was just some wadded up pieces of paper there. And I really don't like Eldon touching those things. Um, whether you believe it or not, people can put uh, black magic and other things on objects. So, I just think you should leave things that are crossroads alone. So, we're almost done in the church here. And we're going to walk outside, and I'll show you some other things on the property. So, we're headed outside. And... Try not to get Eldon and my mom in the frame too much. Mom doesn't seem to be worried about it but Eldon he don't really like to be on camera a lot it, they've got these beams holding at the church uh, to keep it from falling over because people aren't in it and it's not air conditioned so they're headed to the cemetery right now and I'm going to go over to the little plaque here uh, this was the church family back in the 1900s and there was a key there that I didn't see last time I was here. And it has like a rope around it. I wouldn't touch that either. That could have something on it. Some black magic or something. People are crazy. They'll put spells on things. I don't know if it works or not. But why take the risk? You don't want to bother that. Um, that's just very strange. That key. And that plaque There's tells the history right here, of the church and the person. families. There's a key, look. So they had quite a few members back in those years. That was before the park area the took over the that made the families See move the through right eminent here. domain. A lot of them went to other parts of Edmondson County and the surrounding region. Uh, my family was actually part of the people who had to relocate during the 1930s when the park area took over. They didn't go to this church. They went to a different one in Mammoth Cave. But they moved um, probably about 30 minutes from Mammoth Cave area and established in another town. But the park area, um, they um, 
they had a lot of families that had to move. It was quite devastating for them. A lot of people never got over it. And so there's probably a lot of sadness that comes with the different properties. And here we are in the graveyard and looking this at the older tombstones. Right and we also saw something yeah. very interesting in the graveyard, too. Uh, supposedly, there was a man hanged on the property at some point. That was probably before the church was established, because I don't think they would hang somebody on the church property. I don't think that would have been allowed. But supposedly on that same property, a man was hung one time. And you're going to see something very strange here in just a few moments. So just wait for it. And while we're waiting, let's look at all the old tombstones. You just don't see those type of stones much anymore. That's a stone to this. And I hope everyone has a happy and safe Halloween. It's going to be fun this year. Look at that tree. That's what I'm talking about. I'm wondering if he, if that person wasn't hung near that tree because that tree, the leaves on it are a blue color. I don't know if you can tell by the film, but in the natural light, the color on that particular tree, no other trees surrounding it, the leaves are a blue color. So... Yeah. I wonder if that person was hung near that tree. I think that's very strange, don't you? And we're going to keep looking at all these little stones there. But I'm looking forward to Halloween this year. We've uh, gotten a lot of our decorations out, bought a lot of pumpkins, and we usually go all out. We love the holiday season in general, and Halloween just is the start of it. But... You all have a happy and safe Halloween, and I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and look for more upcoming Halloween tours and specials with my channel. All right. Have a good one.